Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'll be your host, the Draft Man, and I'm here on the internet to show you how to draft. I guess I'm not going to submit a request because we won. It's kind of awkward. I didn't gain five life, but I went 6-0 in the draft, so I would like a refund. Your hair and beard is so handsome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I do need to shave, though. So... That might have been a 3060. I can't tell anymore because I've joined a new one, but I'm pretty sure it was 3060. So this is the internet I've heard so much about. This is yeah, this is a, a corner, one corner of the internet that I like to call my own. Uh, the internet's like land. It's like land on on Earth where you can own some of it, but you can't own all of it really. And then you can carve out your own little internet corners for yourself if that does anything for you. Ten handsome bits. All right. Well, that's a thing. That's a thing. This is a dark corner of it? Well, that's something. Seven out of eight. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We can do this. I just opened a new wine, and I'm enjoying it very much. So if you're into big, bold, fruity wines, I highly recommend Molly Duker's 2017 The Boxer Shiraz. Random buy at Trader Joe's, and it's excellent. Where's your sidekick? Mike B uh, is at his job where he works five days a week. Um, Fiend Hunter seems good. Don't care about Containment Priest that much. Fiend Hunter's probably the pick here. There's not a lot of removal in this format, so if you're just going to take a old... Actually, this pack would be insane if it was a real-life Foil Containment Priest Caracas. Yes, please. Brian, you... Uh, any update on that box? I mean, I'm only asking because I like to keep an eye out for things like that and know when they're arriving at my residence. But uh, still, no, still no word on that, so... If you have any insight, buddy, I'd appreciate it. Could be Ray at Dawnbringer. Again, this card is busted if we can get it into play easily. I'm going to take that. Desert Yeti, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We're going to take Ray at Dawnbringer for the same reason you'd take like an 8-mana Eldrazi or uh, an Ulamog or something. Because if we can get like Resurrection or... Resurrection, is which is a common, or like Unburial Rites, I have no problem being that deck. Why Esper Reanimator? I'll just be... I guess we could play Esper because there is Forbidden Alchemy, but it's not uncommon. So if we see another one, I'll take it probably. Hmm. Resurrection is really what we want to see here, so that's pretty good. I don't think I care about anything else in this pack, and we also have no reason to go into a second color yet. So yeah, let's do that. Ray was the first commander you ever built, huh? Interesting, because... I don't know if a lot of people lean towards mono colors when they build their commander decks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Brian, appreciate it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, goodness. What does this do? Whenever a creature with power one or less is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may return it. You return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step if this is still in the battlefield. I mean, that's... You're asking a lot here. This is a 2-2 two -two for five mana. So if Fiend Hunter dies, we get to, Thank you. We get to bring Fiend Hunter back if uh, 
God, do we just take either snipe? Is this are we just white blue again? The white blue deck seems real strong. Narma, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just gonna take the Aether Snipe. I think Aether Snipe is very, very strong in this format. It's because it's kind of like pseudo removal, and it's also a very big body. But I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. Rise from the Tides is interesting. Uh, Swift Reckoning is great. I'm just gonna take the Swift Reckoning. That's basically removal. I mean, it is removal, but it's basically instant speed removal. Oh god, it's that Howie video, isn't it? How do you have these... How do you have these at the ready so easily? gonna take the other Aether Snipe. We're just drafting the same deck because it was very, very good last time and uh, because I'm awesome. Is that why? Is that why? Uh, Treasure Cruise. Whenever a creature is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, you pay two if you return a card to your hand. Treasure Cruise. Hyena Umbra. Treasure Cruise. Hyena Umbra. Sigil. Is, is this good? Four mana for this? I don't think so, man. I'm just going to take the Hyena Umbra. Oh, Heliod's Pilgrim. We have one target so far. Uh, Acacian Cryer is actually great for Rhea. Yeah, we'll take the Acacian Cryer. We'll go a little harder with the... Uh, the re oh, well, all right. I guess that's that. We're going to go a little bit harder with the reanimate than we did last time. I don't think we want another Heliod's Pilgrim. I don't hate a Dawn Charm, though. Eel Umbra, I do enjoy. Nah, don't care about Yeah, being able to discard a, uh, a card like Rhea on turn four and then reanimate on turn five is pretty good. That's a nice treasure cruise late. Sure, I'll take it. Is this funny? Because it says if there are two or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast Swift Reckoning, Reckoning as though it had flash. In parentheses, reminder text says you may cast it anytime you could cast an instant. Why not just say, without the reminder text, if there are two more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast it at any time you could cast an instant. <laughs> like... Seems like you're just getting a little convoluted there, just for the sake of using the word flash on the card. Uh, I don't mind. God's Willing is probably the best card in this pack, awkwardly enough. I have three birthday parties I have to go to, and I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. Uh, you could you could die and not have to go to them. Skywing Aven is another way to discard Rhea. And it's a solid dude. I'm going to take the Skywing Aven. Oh, I like Rune Snag in this deck, as you guys. Oh, Mammoth Umber, though. Oh, dang it. It's from a core set, and they were trying to teach new players. It's, eh, it's good. 
reasonable explanation, actually. That got dark. Well, I'm saying if he died, he wouldn't have to go to the, the parties, right? Like, it's... I wasn't saying, like, you could die. I was saying that is the option that you have in order to not go to all these birthday parties. Do you have a knife I can borrow asking for a friend? No, we're not going there, buddy. Not going there. Mammoth Ember is probably better than one rune snag, right? Especially with Heliod's Pilgrim. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, this got awkwardly dark. Seismic Assault. That's exciting. Flight of Fancy, probably more exciting. Flight of Fancy's been doing quite well in our uh, our Heliod's Pilgrim decks. Now you have Marath Umbra, Il Umbra, Hyena Umbra, and Flight of Fancy, which is pretty nice. I wouldn't mind a Wingsteed Rider, but I've noticed these, guys, these decks get pretty clogged up in the three spot. Brian, you're throwing a lot of dimes at me tonight, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. I always, when, whenever someone tips 10 bits, I'm like, I just remind them, like, constantly, it's just they're throwing dimes at you. Here you go, buddy. And then they, they're heckling you while they do it. Dime bits. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, deranged assistant could be nice. Gets us a little further into the deck. Although if we if we mail the resurrection, it's awkward. Uh, Lotus Eye Mystics target enchantment from your graveyard. That's actually pretty good. I kind of like that because if any of these, yeah, I'm gonna take the Lotus Eye Mystics. Demir Guild Mage is nice, but my reservation about Demir Guild Mage is double blue to cast which is not ideal for us and I might just want to have a 3-3 three, three instead that we can like put a flight of fancy on or yeah I'll take the Cathodian it's not as exciting but do we care about a conviction? I don't think so this is only auras right? yeah I think so whenever I'm playing discard it's kind of one no I don't care about <sighs> This actually could be great in the set. If you don't enjoy having dimes, check out you have bad news for regarding your upcoming trip to What does that mean? Go on. Give me details of exactly what you're trying to say right now. Tell me all about it. Oh. Oh. Angel of Despair is another card I don't mind putting in the graveyard to resurrect. Oh, this is a, a late swift reckoning. I'm going to take this angel and we're going to have a, a time. We're going to have a time with that. Eh, double cleave is... I don't know. Either one of those. Dime to waste your time. Well, it didn't really waste my time. It actually took up no time whatsoever. Oh, Brian, no, I'm just I'm just I'm just totally uh no 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 offense taken, buddy. Urborg reminds me of that other land. Oh umami or whatever it's called. Is it umami? That's probably not what it's called. That's probably like I think I'm saying soybeans right now. I mean, we're going to highlight this shielding plaques for sure. Oh, uh. Oh, mom? I don't know what it's called. Tomb of Urami is what it was. It's Tomb of Urami. I mean, it's very close, right? Oh, uh, we could have taken Urborg to cast the angel. We can just discard it too. Like, it's not a big deal if we have it stuck in our hand. I'm going to take a God's Willing because I want a God's Willing here. Do we have a Dawn Charm? I don't mind having a second Dawn Charm, I guess. Vessel also uh, helps us cast Angel, but not as well. Who's Mommy? <laughs> oh my god.
Mm -hmm. Umami 10 umami dime bits. You're not terrible, actually. I guess we could play you. The funny thing is our blue cards aren't even that compelling here. Wow, a second Fiend Hunter. In a format with limited removal, that seems amazing. And a Mahamodi Jin. Jeez. This pack is gasoline. I would even like this Frantic Search. I would like a second Resurrection before we go all in on these two, but I'm definitely... Because we already have uh, Skywing Aven, we have Icacian Crier... I think we have to take Fiend Hunter here. That's Fiend Hunter's pretty nuts, right? We already have a lot of high end. I'm gonna take the Fiend Hunter. Take out Shielding Plax for now. <clears throat> Artisan of Kozilek. I don't love Artisan as much as the other ones, just because. Are we even? What if we're not even blue? What if we just take Gorio's? Eh, Gorio's Ven just isn't great though. I'm ready for the hot wings. Ten, I'm ready to use. You're not terrible. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. This pack is not ideal after our last pack. The problem is I really just want to cast Artisan of Kozilek and not uh, resurrect it because you don't get the trigger. Hmm. Hmm. Could just be deranged assistance at this point. Yeah, I don't think Gorios is great. We don't actually have. There's only one legendary creature in our deck that we can get back. I don't think it's actually Gorios. I'm gonna take the deranged assistant here. Uh, I think it's actually other Skywing Aven because we do want another discard outlet. So that's a pretty easy pick. And one more resurrect would actually put us way over the top of what I want to be doing. So. Unholy Hunger is great. Vengeful Rebirth and Blast of Genius are both two very good six-drop sorceries in red. Return a card from your graveyard, deal damage equal to its converted mana cost, and then draw three cards and discard a card, deal damage to its converted mana cost. So, very, uh, very powerful wizards. Could take a second Flight of Fancy, but I don't foresee us playing it. Although we could discard it and it makes our Lotus Mystics better. I'll just take it. Yeah, it's a good discard to, like, Icacian Crier or something just to get it back. Second Mammoth Umbra, huh? I want to take Treasure Cruise out. I would rather play Final Fancy than Treasure Cruise. It's two cards instead of three, but it's probably better. Yeah, I'm probably taking Mammoth Umber. I don't, I don't foresee us playing Wing Steed Rider. Like, if we're putting a Mammoth Umber on a creature, it's probably going to be strong enough already. It doesn't need a plus one, plus one counter as well. Plus, we already have mm, a lot of three drops. Like, I'd rather have Skywing Avens than Wing Steed Riders as my three drop when I'm discarding these guys and resurrecting, etc. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm Audi and I'm taking my bits with me. You can't take your bits with you if you just gave them, buddy. Brian, have a good... Oh, Jesus. I'm actually really regretting not taking the uh, the Urborg now because that would be insane. Oh, my God. Resurrection and Angel of Despair in the same pack. It's got to be Resurrection, right? Like, we only, if we only have one Resurrection, we can't actually, like, we can only get one dude. It's got to be Resurrection. Oh, my God. That feels so bad. What is this? Return a creature from a graveyard to the battlefield. Put a 1-1 counter on it. Oh, now I wish I took the Angel. Oh, wow. Daybreak Coronet. Fiend Hunter number 3? Immediate regret sets in. Oh, man. Oh, man. This pack is nuts, dude. Cathodian, you're out. One of these mystics is out. 
Wow, Fiend Hunter number three or Swift Reckoning number two. I think it's actually Swift Reckoning number two here. We could have also taken just Daybreak Coronet because we have a lot of Umbras. Wow. Uh, we have a lot, actually. Um, Eel Umbra, Hyena Umbra, Flight of Fancy, two Mammoth Umbras, which we might cut a Mammoth Umbra. It's just, it's just an expensive card. I'll take the Ancestor's Chosen. I'll take Sigil because of the the evoke guys but we only have two and I don't think I'm taking another repel the darkness stirring wildwood mm, whatever With converted mana cost two or less yeah that's not as good wow if that angel of despair came back that would be amazing martyr of sands can actually gain us a good amount of life yeah alright this is actually pretty sweet I'm okay with this deck so far. Do you care about Wandering Champion? How many auras did we have in total to turn on the Daybreak Coronet? Was it four? Eh, four is not a ton. I mean, we could add, like, Shielding Plaques, another Flight of Fancy, another Mammoth Umber, too. This deck seems pretty good. Thirteen creatures is not a ton, but... Is two Resurrection too many with only two big targets? I guess not. Yeah, I think this is the deck. I don't know if we. Yeah, I was thinking that was that's what I was thinking as well. Wow. Uh, I still think we're nine. I think we're nine eight still. Oh, we don't want the second resurrection because we have miraculous recovery. That's why. Uh, we don't want three of those type spells. Um. Whereas Lotus Lotus Eye Mystics is actually probably pretty good in our deck with like four four enchantments. Uh, I think a Deranged Assistant can go for something a little bit better, like a Ronum Unicorn or just like even Cathodian seems fine here. Like, this guy has just as much of a chance of hitting the reanimation spells as it does hitting an Angel of Despair, which is kind of iffy to me. Yeah, second Mammoth Umber could be good. I like that, especially with Pilgrim and with the second Lotus Thigh Mystics. I think that's actually fine. Alright, I don't know. I don't know how this deck's going to go, but we'll see. I like putting both of these in the graveyard, then bringing back Ray of Dawnburn, and then bringing back Angel of Despair. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. We have an angel to discard, and we have four mana to replay it if we hit a resurrection. I 
Also, if they try to kill this, it's a great reason to get the angel. So it's actually a nice little... You know what I'm saying. Biscuits. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Here we go. Sacrifice this. Okay, okay. Oh, no attacks. All right, so we're going to attack, bounce, do a thing. What land do we care about more? Probably the green, right? Oh, we got a game, boys. <laughs> oh, they also missed the land drop, which is seems irrelevant. We killed the green because if gave they had like crushing canopy or something, so So they attack with wild mongrel and I'm like, "No, I'm good." No blocks. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays This is where they would 100% discard four cards to kill this. Oh, we we picked the right land. That'll be a vigilance. You have six cards, you can make this an 8-8. Eight, eight. I want to block because if you want to discard all of your cards and then just lose the Mammoth Umber, I guess that's fine. I have no idea what you could possibly have that actually blows me out here. Okay. Like a double cleave, maybe? Fiery Temper, sure. Well, you can't cast both of these. Oh, I guess you can if you do this, right? Okay. So you get to <clears throat> play both of these. Sure. Seems reasonable. Woodfall Primus. Okay. Well, we've seen Reckless Worm, Fire Timber, Woodfall Primus. Your deck doesn't look that bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two haste. This has two haste mana. Okay. Three down. And this is going to be a five, five now. Three, four, five. Okay. Yep. But then we get to eat the wild mongrel. 
So you just have a worm and I have a 5-5. Five five. Seems good. So we traded a Fiery Temper, a Wild Mongrel, a Generator Servant, a Woodfall Primus from Mammoth Umbra. Alright, go to 5. And we still get a 5-5 five, five out of it. <laughs> so, like, seems okay. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. It was an 8-8 eight, eight Angel of Despair. Ironically, we might have been in better shape if we killed the Mongrel, but they did miss two land drops, so. I don't hate Spirit Karn here. They do have a Wild Mongrel, and it seems like they're trying to discard things. Or could you just put in your guard from the battlefield and you pay two if you return it to your hand? I think we're good like this there's a lot of cards in our sideboard that i'm not terribly opposed to using but okay we can discard again this is a better card <laughs> not better but it's good how are we casting Angel? We have three re two resurrection spells and we just put it in our graveyard. So, we're not. Unfairly. Correct. Chris is correct. Alright, no third land. So, no, no worm we have to worry about here, which is nice. Oh, close combat third land. I'm going to Fiend Hunter this guy. He's problematic. Okay. So one, two, three. We can play Avon. We can also play Hyena Umbra on this. But then they just kill it, right? So that, that just gives them a target. I don't foresee us playing Ray of Dawnbringer this game, casting it, but uh, thankfully we don't have to like rush and discard it either, so. Yikes. <laughs> Let's play a Wandering Champion here. Wandering Champion, we can at least trade with one of these guys when there's no targets on the board, so... Opponent, yeah, it's funny because, like, the only enchantment they saw was Mammoth Umber, right? Like, we didn't actually play anything else. We played literally Angel and Avon and Resurrection, so. Alternatively, we could take six and then maybe attack into their things. I doubt it, though. I think we're just in a better position. Like, we don't need a discard outlet. I'd rather just trade with one of these guys because they're pretty annoying, especially as four fours. 
Yeah, they're like, I guess if I'm trading eight cards for your Mammoth Umbra, I'd probably just rather have a Wicker Balladr in the deck. Yep. All right, one time. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I kind of like double blocking here. Now, because then they deal all the damage to this, then we bounce this, and they get their wild mongrel back. So, like, it's actually it's pretty bad for us. I like blocking here and then maybe discarding Rhea. But, like... Let me take four. I don't think we're in a position to be attacking anymore. Which is sad. Like, as soon as we play high in they just kill it immediately. So that's pretty sad. <laughs> Pattern of Rebirth. Sure. It's pretty good, actually. This is where you wish you had a face fetters. Oh, they can actually sack this to... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I wonder if they're going to do it. Yikes. Oh, no, that actually doesn't work. They would sack it to kill the rebirth and the guy doesn't die. So, yeah, that's actually fine, I guess. Ugh. Where are my resurrections at? I think this is a fine two for one just because we want to get this guy off the board. So we'll take four, but... I mean, we don't need these guys anymore. Plus, if we do get Rhea back, it's like, well, that's good. That's good. One less thing. They're just going to cast a Woodfall Primus. That's nice. Isn't that special? That card is hard to deal with. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> right. Let me guess. Next card's Resurrection? Nope. All right. Okay. So, bring in Ronum Unicorn. Take out the Umbras. Cathodian's pretty risky because they can just kill it. You're just bored in the other... Actually, Ancestors Chosen and another Resurrection might be fine. Take out one Mammoth Umbra. At least we're getting value off the Flight of Fancy if we play it. I can see taking the Heliod's Pilgrim out for like a Repel the Darkness, because it does draw us cards and buys us some time, which is nice. Alright. Hmm. 
I mean, if they want to discard two cards to to kill this i'm totally fine with that i did not think you would unfortunately our hand is pretty awkward right now because we don't have any mana to cast these things I'm hopping around some other streams, and I have to say I genuinely appreciate you being good at this game. Good magic is more fun to watch. Appreciate you saying so. I do what I can. Fascinating. That is a sizable wild mongrel. Let me get an Aven so I can actually loot here and try to hit a land. Not an Aven. It's literally nothing we can do here. That is unfortunate. We could also, if it was a land, we could have actually discarded Mammoth Umbra and uh, got it back with Lotus Eye Miscus. Miss, miss Sticks. <sighs> now they're just going to discard a Worm and we're going to lose this match. Now they're just going to play Pattern of Rebirth. I see. Well then. Thank you. Fascinating. Sojin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you're, you're losing completely based on not playing Treasure Cruise. That's funny you think so, because right now we have zero cards in our graveyard. So an eight mana spell that draws us cards. Whereas Flight of Fancy, which draws us one less, is not only completely playable, it's a great draw because we can start attacking with this. Uh, and we'd have a red permanent, a blue permanent. Wow, Flight of Fancy would be insane here. Unlike uh, your so-called Treasure Cruise. I really don't want to attack you and have you trade for a... Jesus, trade for a Woodfall Primus. Oh boy. No value. Oh, no blocks. Oh, no blocks whatsoever. Never gonna give you blocks. Oh, plus three and trample. I'll take five, I suppose. Never gonna give, never gonna give, give you blocks. Hmm. Flight of Fancy would be pretty insane here. Trigger this. Attack for seven. Pray upon.
I mean, I guess, I guess we had it coming from the first match, so. I mean, if they didn't have Woodfall Primus, or if maybe they drew it, I think, like, we actually have a game there, but... Uh, definitely keeping this hand. Combo! I mean, I think it's far more likely that the Primus actually destroys the cruise ship because that's in its nature. So I'm gonna crush your little cruise ship. Very depressing. I'm depressed. I am depressed. Alright. We have three discard outlets, to my knowledge. Uh, the two Avens and the Ication Crier. So if we can hit any of those... I would be grateful. I would also accept a land here that allows us to play our spells. I know it's asking for a four. I know for asking for a fourth land is a lot on turn four, Magic the Gathering, but uh, you know, sometimes it, it's the holiday season. It's time for giving. Maybe you want to be a little more generous with your land landage. Okay, one time. Here we go. It's, there it is. Oh, we, you did. You did. You did want to do it. This is the only thing we can play here, so I'm definitely going to play it and get rid of this guy. And you're not going to let me do that. Okay. Well, we had a good run. What do you got, a moan and a forbidden alchemy and a thing twice in your graveyard? Jesus, what are you playing, constructed? It's definitely the worst. Like, it's definitely the worst. Second Moan of the Unhallowed. Uh, I think this card is very strong. Five mana. What do we got here? Uh, literal nothing. We could Resurrection, I guess. God, I really want to do that when I have a red dumber in hand, do I? Maybe I do, because it lets us play Folly to Fancy on something. Sure. Get rid of a Zombone. <sighs> Not ideal. Would you rather lose to Storm than lose to Mana Issues? Yes, because at least Storm I can sideboard against, and I can prepare adequately for. You can't really prepare for Mana Issues. Jesus. Oh, another thing twice in the graveyard. Boy, this this deranged assistant is just like another mode of the unhallowed? Sure. Just value town dot USA. What's up, Haji Gulashi? Plays attack. One blue. Okay. Play this now while we have free time to do so. So we take six, but we block. If they get rid of this, we take eight. I don't actually think we're in good shape to do this. I think we can wait till we have the Umbra. One, oh, we also have, we're two turns away from Rhea. That's true, they send neither me nor them pizza. I'm 
Treasure Cruise. They have eleven cards left in their deck. Oh god, they're totally gonna lo they're totally gonna lab maniac us. Oh god. Five cards in hand. Jeez. It's not good. Reeves, thank you so much for the resub for the for the continued gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Yep, we don't have the mana for that. Nor do we have the mana for this guy now. All right, well. I guess we'll Lotus Eye Mystic and get this back next turn. Oh my god, four mo three Moon of the Unhallowed's? That's a lot. Alright, this is a win condition. There are no laboratory maniacs in your graveyard, so unless you drew it, that's fine. No block, okay, sure. Unless you drew it, or it's still in your deck and you haven't milled it yet. God, I'm like, I have laboratory maniac PTSD now. Gurmag Angler, two more zombies. Okay, this is wide. This is as wide as can be. So we can go, I guess we're fine still. First, we don't have any creatures in our graveyard. <laughs> So we have four blockers. They can get one, two, three, four. That means we take one, two, three, four, five. We take 10, 12. We go to seven. But we get to eat a lot of things. I was actually hoping for that so that both of these are lethal now. I don't know if we need the land, but I'll just play it in case. So now they're both lethal and they both have Vigilance, which is really all I want. Another Plume Veil? Okay. Still fine. Because you have to block both of them. Alright. You don't have to block because you have one more card in your hand. Sure. Last gasp. All right. Well, we're getting there. So now you're at two, and they're still both lethal. So, all right. All right. Whew. Close times at Ridgemont High. A bunch of zombies coming into play here. Good lord. Our player discards a card. That's not what's happening. Yeah, I was thinking the Dawn Charm. Also, Vessel doesn't seem terrible just to exile a graveyard card. Didn't see any enchantments. Didn't see any, like... Everything else seems fine. I got one Lotus Eye Mystics.
Yeah, this is keepable. Four lands is probably the sweet spot. Just the wind. It's okay, it's just the wind. Flight of Fancy would be great here. Nice top deck. We get to attack, we draw two, we get to loot one. Oh boy. Well, that's not terrible. As long as we can get this angel into the graveyard. Oh, I'm about to just the wind. Oh, I'm about to just, I'm about to just the wind. Oh, no attacks. Okay, I'm liking it. What do we think here? Flight? It's gotta be flight, right? Where is your bird now? <laughs> I'm about to bust. Yeah, don't bust the wind. That's a that's a totally different thing, my friend. God, how many think twice do you have in your friggin' graveyard? Oh, you just played one and, and, and flicked one? Why do you have all these cards in your hand? No rune snags, though, which is nice, because now we can go flight on you. Then you go last gasp. We go God's Willing. You go rune snag. That's going to be the play. That's going to be the turn of events here. You have to have Last Gasp and Rune Snag in your hand. Oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> so stupid. Plume veil in the trash can. Four mana? Think twice, sure. I mean, we're almost at a point where we can just cast this Angel of Despair, so. Why don't we play God's Willing? Because if we give it Pro Blue, then our Flight of Fancy also gets countered, so there's really no point of that. Your moan? All right, get your moan on. Well, I'm getting somewhere. Oh my 
my god, so many zombies, dude. It's funny if we actually God's willing we could have put oh no it's not it's not surveil, it's scry, so yeah, we're definitely trading off this wandering champion at this point if they want to attack us. Yep, God's willing that. Uh give you pro blue. Put you on the bottom of the library. Man, three just the wins in this deck. God, so many moans. So we're one man away from this. Okay. That's nice. I think we're taking eight here. It's not going to be ideal. Frank, I just went downstairs and noticed that there's already a president of the tree with your name on it. <laughs> oh my god. Is there? Is it worth casting recovery here just to get a 2 4 and to have a card to play next turn if we don't? Oh my god. What's it like drawing three moans every single game? It's gotta be nice. Do they just counter our Rhea? So if we block two, we still take two, four, six, eight, ten. And if we kill another one, so if we, even if we play Rhea, we block three guys and we take eight. Like, we're actually dead here because we can't do two different things. Yep. Dear God, man. Bring them both Dawn Charms. Oh boy. You know what to bring in. Dude, I have two cards in my graveyard. I do like other Flight of Fancy over like Elumbra though. I think Flight is really good with Wandering Champion, so hopefully that submitted. Uh, yes, keep this hand. Alright, well we get to resolve this. Well, I'm not playing anything here. Might just discard Nader Snipe.
Here come some moans. Moans and bones. What does that mean? I don't know. Chris, can't you move the images onto, onto somewhere else? <laughs> you don't have to really erase them, per se. I actually don't want to discard either snipe, but... Let's discard resurrection here. Come on, big guy. Nope, that's land. I, I have no idea what that means now. I will chump block this fish, however. Oh, look at you with your With your rune snag mana up. Isn't that cute? I'll, I'll pay for. Why is what card a common? Uh, we could have gotten the creature back for cheaper, but I'd rather have the instant speed nature and the plus one plus one counter of this. Could also just not have rune snag. That is an option. Right, but I don't want to waste this on any other snipe when we have uh, very few ways to cast other cards in our deck. I could just easily cast the other snipe. Sure. It's actually pretty good when you get the last gas back that you just milled. How convenient. Yep, just going to pass here. Slow and steady wins this race. Hmm. Fascinating. Was aggressive. Gurmag Angler for like one mana. Treasure Cruise. Okay. Well, guess that's fine. Got him. All right. That'll do. I hope you don't have a third rune snag, but. Stop playing with. Stop keeping rune snag up. Oh, resolved. Alright, so they don't have a third rune snag, otherwise, that would have not have resolved. 
So that's pretty good to know. Yep. Zombos, McMombos. What do you get back here? That is the question. Target moan of the unhollowed. That's weird that you tap double blue then. Or double black rather. I guess you could just play another black man. Sleight of hand. Sure. I don't think the lands make a difference here. I'd rather you go less wide. Seven, you can triple block with everything. That was probably greedy. That's real greedy, especially with Resurrection. Yeah, we have no way to cast that now. Kind of as well targets you, that doesn't do it. Regenerate it, sure. Wow, that was so bad. Especially when we know they have three just the wins in play. That was pretty stupid. This deck wants to do cool things, but uh, it's not working out. Like, we just can't beat like 10 Moan of the Unhollowed every game. I mean, there's definitely a chance we can draw Rhea, discard this, and just get it back with Rhea. This game doesn't seem like it's not going to go long, so. They also have eight cards in their deck, so if it's not a labor Laboratory Maniac deck, then... Sure. What do we take eight here? Eh, we'll just prevent it. busy sniping what can this get back just mammoth umbra right now so if we hit a land we can play this and mammoth umbra plume veil i don't care about block block we take eight nine not ideal but we get a guy back Still probably dead to infinite zombies. Yeah, we just can't race this number of zombies effectively, which is really unfortunate. Two blockers, we go block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, just like nothing we can do here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. And we definitely made a misplay. I mean, not putting the mammoth umber on this guy, which is just so much better to have on board, is one of them, but our deck seems pretty okay otherwise. I mean, getting. 
I think maybe the Herborg would have been pretty strong just because it lets you cast your Angel of Despair with one with one land in the deck. So it's basically a two card combo instead of having Angel trapped in our hand. Oh yeah, Moan is nuts. <laughs> Moan is was super powerful in, in a straw draft. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll keep it. Yeah, you can stay. We're missing like one piece here, just a discard outlet. Very small, oh, I see. Oh, I see who it is. Look who it is. Oh yeah, now we're doing it. Hyena Umber for life. I opened a box of UMA and opened roughly one of each uncommon. That opponent was supremely lucky to have three or four of them. Wait, which one? What what uncommon? Uh, Mon is never played in constructed. Mon is Mon is common in in Ultimate Masters. Yeah, Moan's common. It's not an uncommon. I'll attack for five because that's what we do. Well, I'm a dumb as usual. <laughs> oh. None of the things that you get wrong are usually are usually intelligence based. They're usually just trivia based. Thank you. Unbeatable, unstable bear. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, we're getting into hard cast Raya range. We're not really, but. All right, like I like that our guy holds all of these green and red nerds at bay. All righty then. Even I, a dumb, know this much. <laughs> Well, if that's true, then I'm a friggin' genius, right? Seven lands, all right. I don't see a counter. There's none. Trivia is trivia's, uh, the deciding factor for all things. Here comes Woodfall Primus for the second time in, oh God, what is this?
I'm cringing so hard right now. Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes you just play a 12-12 with Annihilator 4 and... This is good if we can hit a white mana. A white land. A plains. That's good. It's very good. Although this does assume that we draw a third land, a fourth land, rather. Eldrazi, they're just as fun as you remember them, guys. Just as fun as you remember them. Got a little old scuzzy backs over here. Oh, one more scuzzy back, scuzzy back, scuzzy back, scuzzy back. That's not a good. That's not a good choice, song. Land. That's not a land, but it does actually deal with this guy. I mean, partially, anyway. <sighs> I feel like we're just way far behind, <laughs> which is kind of sad. All right, not terrible. Gives us a block here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> they're just gonna play Eidolon next turn. They're gonna play Kozilek, right? Oh no, they're just gonna do some nonsense this turn. Oh, crying out loud. I've never seen Scuzzback Marauder with used with such success. So we take three here, and then it comes back. It's not terrible, I guess. Can I just get a land? Actually, that's pretty decent. It's a thing to play. Uh, let's get a Hyena Umbra, because it's castable. And now we're just going to attack here. Block you, take two, maybe three if you attack with the Groundskeeper as well. Okay, that was decent. Brawn. Not even going to attack here if they have a way to deal with this. I guess I'm not going to block either, so maybe I should have attacked, but I don't feel like we're going to win the short game. We're going to win the long game here. Okay. Now I'll block. <laughs> they have one card in hand? Sure. I can't read. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was good. Well.
It might just be resurrect Lotus Eye Mystics. It could actually be a little resurrect Avon. Oh, and then resurrect Heliod's Pilgrim gets us a card. I think I'd rather have... Oh, God. The problem is, what if we draw something good? I think we can wait here. Actually, we can Umbra whatever we, whatever we play, though. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to discard as much if we don't have Resurrection in hand. So... I guess we're just hoping you don't have anything. I guess that's too much to ask for. Oh yeah, you just have the literal card in your graveyard that kills that guy, sure. Alright, that's okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> I guess you get to keep one card, but... Let me get to Fiend Hunter and put, like, Eel Umbra on it. I mean, we could actually play just Fiend Hunter and just put an Umbra on it and then keep up another Umbra and then just do a bunch of stuff to the Fiend Hunter without killing a guy, but that seems worse. Because the problem is we don't have really answers to things... Like, if they play a Kozilek, no number of Fiend Hunters with Umbras on it are going to actually stop that from killing us. Alright, so one card in hand. It's probably Kozilek. Probably still cause a lick. And cause a lick. Yep. Never tapped faster in your life. Could just be a fireball as well. I don't oh, artisan of Kozilek. Yeah, even better. And it has haste. Does this card naturally just have haste? Why does it have haste? Because there's an anger in your graveyard. All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, seems good. O three 3 for the first time in UMA, U UMA, UMA history. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. And... MeOnDees.com and Aaron K and deck boxes. You can check out all the links in the description below. Some of them will benefit you, some of them will not, and I understand that. But if you want to support the channel, those are great ways to do it, so be sure to check those out. And slam the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. really appreciate it.